fear not. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to raise you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me? In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed, and they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis, and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the Ancient Ones stored information. This place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes. There is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to seeing the world. It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. Contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Hurry. This artifact will help us close off the temple. You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. Ah, oh, good 
were. Was it hard to obtain the artifact? Its owner had many questions for me. You should have come along. Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. Gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alethea won control of this place. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We east you see various pasts and futures, and I know you'll be here more than once. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. I have no easy answers for you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. But please, don't give up. You are more important than you can imagine. And like your own Pandora, I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero for the ages. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. Claim your place in history. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Her words are for you, eagle bearer. My preparations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alethea says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Ancient scholar, you stretched your life to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please, listen to my advice. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. It's clear to me that even this tiny dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I'm sorry. The Precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The Precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough.
As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though, one with reason behind it, I believe. Traveler of many times, congratulations on making it this far. I'm glad we can share this message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Or do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool spread? Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by precursor rules. It's time for new paths with new possibilities. This is not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start enabling. From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. This is madness! Fiction! Where I thought there would be wisdom, there is only the garbled babbling of a fool. Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invitation was meant for someone else. There is no need to lose your reason over mere words. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right. It's time. I can't. Not yet. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There's so much to learn. With this knowledge, we can turn the tide of fate. That is not our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We? are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. It's too dangerous to leave this place open, and you know it. He wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. Duh! We are not ready for the power this place offers. You're right. I cannot save humanity directly. But I can save it from itself. This is your burden now. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. I understand. Alexios, choose wisely.
Atlantis is too dangerous. I must seal it. Everything in order? Then... Open sesame! So much power! The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine! This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lispin, the Arctic... I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet. But there's more to explore. I'll find it. The mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I, I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. Oh, I see. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. Where is it? What? True knowledge exists. good friend told me that once. Possible. Alexios? Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icaros is long gone. I've been searching for you. But you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? 
Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh. No. You can keep it. It's broken. But... you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Erothotos could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order, chaos, if either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist Order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I have traveled from one end of the earth to the other. This belongs to you now. Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Alexios again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Van Nevers. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world? It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. I'll tell you someday. It's too complicated for small talk. It's not me, is it? I've proven I'm very competent. I'm exhausted, Varnavas. And ignore him. When you're ready, I'm all ears. I need every last detail. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always.
We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. You've both been a great help to me. It doesn't matter who's right or wrong. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are. <laughs> Perhaps he too is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. What's wrong? My parents. Irodotos. I'm so sorry. I thought I'd be able to see them again. To show them my life's work. But now, I'm sorry to ask this of you. But could you take me to Samos? I need to pay my respects. Of course, my friend. Thank you. I'm not sure I could make this trip alone. Commander at the helm! Buster! I love the smell. The smell. It's so good to be back. Is being on the Adresia anything like the Siren Song? I was in a different place when I said that shit. I think we could be useful. I didn't have direction there. We both have direction now. Looking up. Where are we headed? Wherever we want. Did you inspect the ship? The ship that you said? It was checked, yes. And the crew? And the train? Yes, Nikolaus. No need for that. I sailed it was no mistakes. I've sailed this ship my whole life. You're in good hands. Of course I am. I won't be taking orders from you, just so you know. But I'm the captain. I also want to steer. I think where we're headed. I don't think so. Fine. If anyone gets seasick on me, they're dead. Sounds fair to me. You sail around with this thing? Of course. The address here is a mighty vessel. It doesn't seem very wise. Are you nervous, little brother? You wish. When do you intend to sail this thing? Wherever the wind takes us. This is it. How does it feel being back? It feels like... Uh, words escape me. That's a first. To my eyes, it's home. The smells and sounds are familiar, but it's been so long. I don't know if I can do this. You've done more difficult things. Challenges we overcome always seem easier when they're behind us. What would you do? Hold my head high, walk with purpose, push those feelings of doubt aside. You're right. 
I suppose we should head to my family home first. Lead the way. It's so quiet here. Nothing like the rest of the Greek world. Living near the docks was so exciting as a child. How so? There was always a new ship to see, new people to watch, from the sailors, often a new word to learn. <laughs> Most of which got me in trouble. I'm sure your mother remembered those days fondly. I know I do. So many faces I don't recognize. You've been gone a long time. Even so, I was hoping there'd be someone I know. Someone who'd remind me of my life before I left. We've only just arrived. It'll be okay. Here we are. This is where I called home for most of my childhood. Most? I came to Samos at a young age, but I was born in Aligarnassos. Those are days I'd rather not remember. Hmm. It doesn't look like it's changed much in my absence. A tablet. Looks like some old writing. The ships never stay for long. Samos is a place people come for a visit, but not to live. Is there something about this place I don't yet see? One of my first writings. I was always restless here. Always wanting to learn more about the world beyond. ...and the world that was. This pottery looks special. My father always felt art was a great outlet when things seemed overwhelming. One of your toys? It was my brother's. I often hid it when he wouldn't let me play with it. Herodotos! Mistor! Praise the gods! It's been far too long! It has indeed. You're looking well. As are you, Theodorus. I can't... I should go. I'm glad you're back. Stop it! This isn't helping! We came to Samos as soon as we could after receiving your letter. You must... And... I'm a... He's a friend. I couldn't stay here. I needed to leave. You... I have... At least tell me where they died. We... I'm sure he's just surprised to see you. His eyes showed hatred. He probably missed you. You'll see. It's a bit late for that. I know this wasn't the welcome you were expecting. But perhaps it was the one I deserved. For now, I only want to see where they died. I owe that to them. I'll come with you. I'd like that. If you're ready, we should go. Waiting to face reality will do me no good. Come 
Ani Chora. I used to know this island as well as my own home. Seems like a nice place to grow up. It was. I spent a lot of time on my own with the others in this. My parents are... were influential here. So they were often busy. But it wasn't a life for you. There's only so many ships you can see sail away as a boy. Before you feel the boat to leave as well. That must be the spot Theodorus was talking about. My parents used to love walking here. Believe this is where my parents last stood. Where fate decided to take them from us. I thought I'd write about their history on Samos and all they did one day. But not this soon. I should have been here. Should never have left. There is no point thinking about things you should have done. That doesn't help. But... You're not a fighter, Herodotus. You couldn't have stopped this. Perhaps you're right. I want you to remember that while we're on Samos. I'll try. I just wish I could have seen them once more. Do you have a favorite memory of them? I remember when my father taught me to swim. He tossed me off the side of the dock. I thought I was going to drown, but then I saw what I thought was a shark. I flailed my arms and kicked my legs until I made it to shore, only to see it was Theodorus with a bit of rock above his head. <laughs> I still remember the sound of my father's laugh and the warmth of my mother's embrace. Did your parents like it on Samos? It was more than just a home to them. I saw how happy this place made them, and only wanted to feel the same somewhere as well. What did your parents think of your writing? They always encouraged it. It helped that Theodorus was talented as well, although he always felt more drawn to poetry. If it weren't for their support, there's a good chance I would have never pursued it. If there's anything you'd like to say about your parents, you should. I always feel more comfortable writing than I do speaking. I'm not going to judge. And I know they wouldn't either. They meant everything to me. They always encouraged me. I knew they'd be happy for me no matter what. I'm sorry I didn't come back sooner. There was so much I wanted to tell you, to show you. Mother, you were one of the strongest people I knew. You pushed for truth, no matter the obstacle. Father, your compassion is something I won't soon forget. You taught me it was okay to feel for myself and for others. Your names and deeds won't be forgotten. <sighs> we should head back.
have a feeling they don't belong here. Something is going on. Maybe the others will know. Stay close. Followers of Ares here. I don't understand. The question is whether they came on their own, or someone sent them. Neither outcome is favorable for us. Longer. Do you North understand? Of... Ah, you're back. I hoped you'd set sail already. Now isn't the time. We were just attacked. Gods cursed these warring Greeks. Was it the Athenians or the Spartans this time? Neither. It was a group called the Followers of Ares. Whoever it was, thank the gods you're okay. Have either of you heard of the Followers of Ares? Only in name. Who are they? They only care for one thing. War. And you believe they're here, on Samos? They're the ones who attacked us. Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Strange ships docking. Uh, groups of people you haven't seen before. No, things have been normal. It's been a welcome change. Something is happening here on Samos. We need answers. He's right. If the followers of Ares are here, there's a reason for it. Then it's another reason for you to go. We'll handle whatever is happening here. This is my home too. I'm not leaving until I get to the bottom of this. If it's not safe, you shouldn't stay. He's plenty safe with me. Of course. Come, mister. If this fool won't heed our warnings, it's not our concern. They weren't much help. Something doesn't add up. How could Theodorus and Mister both know nothing? I think they were keeping something from us. But why? That's what we need to find out. What's next? If they're somewhere on this island, they'd stay away from the city. There was a cave I used to play in as a child. It may be worth looking into. Let's start there. Follow you in after you finish killing everyone inside. This is where they've been hiding. You were right to suggest we look here. But they've been dealt with. We still need to find out what they were doing here in the first place. Let's look around. Yes, that. A 
Athenian and Spartan uniforms. They could have the people of Samos believe they were attacking from either side. I didn't take the followers of Ares to be lovers of poetry. They're not. This work, it's awfully close to the style Theodorus uses. Why would his writings be here? I didn't take them for the heirloom type. How did they? That's our family's sigil. They must have stolen it. There's no way they could have found that on their own. It was given to them. <clears throat> These coins aren't like any I've seen before. I have. They're Persian. There is a list of names here. I recognize these names. They're all quite influential on Samos. But Missos is missing. I'm afraid to even say what I think is going on here. This island and these people are yours. Tell me what you're thinking. Persia wants to take control of Samos. It'd be a good staging ground for something greater. You're right. I only wish that was all there is to worry about. What is it? If Persia is involved, they couldn't have done this alone. They would have needed someone here to help them. Someone with ties to the Empire. And influence on Samos, yes. Other than myself, there are only two others who could be responsible for what's going to happen and for what already has. <sighs> Herodotus. With everything we've found, everything you've seen and heard, please, just tell me which of them it is. It's Theodoros. He's working for the Persians, and brought the followers of Ares here. I was afraid you'd say that. But I know you must be right. What do you want to do now? I need to talk to Theodoros. I don't understand why he'd do this. Drachmi can be a powerful motivator, as can the promise of power. But he already had both of those. I know you want to understand it all. But we don't always get the answers we seek. It's as if you've forgotten that you no longer live here, Herodotus. We know what you did. We found the cave where the followers of Ares were hiding. Why are you working for the Persians? The people of Samos don't deserve to be subjected to the same things we were. Or do you not remember why we left in the first place? How dare you? Everything I've done has been for the good of Samos. I wish to free Samos from this war, but for you to accuse me of handing it to the Persians... Did you order them to kill our parents, or was it a mistake on their part? I... You should have never come back here! Theodoros!
I know you care deeply for your brother, but this isn't finished. We tasked ourselves with protecting Samus, and it's not yet safe. We need to go after him. Where to? To find Mistur, and the others too. There's no way Theodoros could have ordered these troops to attack us. <laughs> of the island, there's a hidden cove where ships can dock unseen. Let's go. I should watch my step around. You should be safe now. Where is Mistor? After he ordered me locked up, he left. Seemed impatient. Ah, uh, Theodorus. Not another word from you. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Once you've dealt with Mistor, you need to leave for good. Samos won't need you any longer. Neither will I. You know what needs to be done now, right? Unfortunately, I do. You can stay behind if you want. I can do it myself. No. I need to see him. I need to know why he did this. You got me. How could you do this? After everything our family did for you. They took you in, and you had them killed. That was an unfortunate accident. I promise you, I weep for their deaths every day. I can't trust anything you say. Why trick Theodoros into helping you? Allies are hard to come by, and Theodoros was more than willing. Tell me what the Persians are planning. Samos would make a good stronghold, don't you think? You betrayed Samos, your family. Not You're... everything is black and white. Sometimes people need others to make the best decision for them. And they're giving me Samos to rule. It doesn't matter now. The followers of Ares working for you are dead. Everyone will know what you did here. I'll make sure of it. 
Oh, I hope you do. I've always wanted my name to be remembered. However, you may not want to start writing just yet. What do you mean? The ships are already on their way. Let him go. We need to stop the ships. I'll meet you there. about Mistor? After his failure, he won't get a second chance. Plus, there's no way he'd stay on Samos now. About Theodoros. It was my fault you accused him. But only because I didn't trust myself enough to do so. But you trusted me. My trust in you was sound. It was still my choice to accuse him, not yours. Thank you for everything, Alexios. Without you, I couldn't have gotten through this. I sometimes feel like we've spent as much time at sea as on land. You may be right. We've traveled a lot together. I think it may be time I set off on my own. Of course. As much as I like you by my side, I can't expect you to stay forever. <laughs> I figured I'd take my leave while you still feel that way. It will feel strange, though. It will take some getting used to. Well, where should I take you? The docks near Athens should do. There are some others I'd like to say goodbye to as well. I'm sure they'll be sorry to see you go. To Athens.
I sometimes pinch myself to make sure that I'm awake and that all we went through truly happened. With your writings, it won't soon be forgotten either. The world will be better knowing. My mind is flooded with the memories of all we experienced. Do you have a favorite? How could I possibly decide? You opened my eyes to so much, uncovered so many secrets and mysteries that will change the course of the world. Your spear and all it suggests. Atlantis, the cult. None of those things are mine alone to take credit for. You were there through it all. How could I ignore what was so clearly in front of me? You couldn't, which is why you have as much of a claim to all we did. I wonder what the great Eagle Bearer will remember best from this journey. It's like you said, it's impossible to pick just one. It feels we met so long ago now, but we've also been through a lot in such a short time. I'm glad you visited the Pythia that day and saw Varnavas. I guess this is it. As much as I'll miss our conversations, this is where our paths diverge. Where is your path taking you now? To Thuri. What's waiting for you there? That's the exciting part. I have no idea. I'm not sure anyone loves the unknown as much as you. It only stays that way until someone cares enough to make it known. In Thuri, that someone will be me. Will I see you again? Our paths may cross once more, and I hope they do. If that comes to pass after all, it likely means something big is following close behind. Then I hope our adventures are nowhere near complete. I've never been great at saying goodbye. To do so is to impart a sense of finality, and we have no way of knowing if this truly is goodbye. Good luck in your travels, Herodotos. I can't wait to hear what you get yourself into. I'll share my stories with you, so long as you bring some new ones of your own. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs>